I say stay true to yourself and don't worry about trying to fit in with other people. Just try to find people that have the similar interests as you and they'll be like your real friends. And also, don't care about popularity because I promise you, it'll be a 180 turnaround when you get older. You most likely will have to exercise a whole bunch in order for that to happen. And it kind of depends on your metabolism too. Like I know that I have a very slow metabolism, so I kind of have to watch what I eat. And some people have a very fast one. You don't have to open yourself up to every single person. Just try to open up yourself to people that you know truly care for you. Like if you have like a really close best friend or cousin or sibling or something, somebody that you could confide in that you know you could trust. The easiest way to start streaming like automatically from your console is like um, using PS4 and they also have the, um, the thing that you can go automatically to YouTube and to Twitch. And I think Xbox, theirs is like a mixer. And I think that goes to YouTube, but you could try those out too. No, it is not because there's no gender put on what activity you're doing because I was a girl. I am a girl. Well, I'm saying I was. <laughs> I am a girl, but I play video games and that's seen as a boy thing and it's not. So you can do whatever you want. Nobody's going to prank you as like a freshman. Okay, so don't worry about that. Um, you need to focus on your studies for real. Focus on your studies because eventually it's going to catch up to you where you're not going to care about it, but you need to care about it. <laughs> In my opinion, and y'all don't have to listen to this, I don't think that they work out. Reason because is you don't really feel that level of intimacy as you would if you see them every day or you get to see them at least a once in a while, you know, you just kind of feel like you're always far apart. I don't, mm, I don't really think so. I think that staying by yourself might be better if you have low esteem until you could um, build that up, build that self esteem up because it's called self esteem. Um, and I don't think that anybody else could fix you except for you. That ignorance is gonna be everywhere. In high school, at your job, at, at the mall, it's gonna be everywhere. There's no way you do to escape it because that's just how the world is. But you can speak up against it if they try to bring that inner ignorance around you because you're not gonna stand for it. Of course it is, because I fantasize about playing video games a whole bunch. <laughs> and that's what I'm doing now. Like, it's, there's no there's no limit to the possibilities that could happen. So in order for you to get your dreams accomplished, you have to first see it in your mind. And I wouldn't say they don't care at all. Maybe they just don't care as much, I would say. I know that kind of sounds a little harsh, but I think that's just how it is. I don't know. And they, maybe people just might be busy and they don't know how to manage their time. I don't know. Hmm. I would say, Try to join, like, if there's like a club at your school or something, some after school activity that you can go to where you're actually interested in a subject, like a book club or anime club or something like that, where you could share your opinions with people that have the same opinion. I think overall, just surrounding yourself with people that might have the same interests as you do, and you could join in a conversation that you're familiar with that could probably start helping you uh, get more social and uh, get out of your comfort zone and feel okay to speak. Please ignore that foolishness because I don't I don't understand that within our community because it's like they act like being successful and being intelligent and having good grades and things like that is only supposed to be for one color as if we can't do the same. I remember being in middle school and high school and people used to say that I used to talk white and I never understood that because that's basically saying that us as black people, we cannot be smart and intelligent and we gotta speak in only Ebonics and that's just, it. you gotta chop it all. You gotta chop it. You gotta chop that thing off like Clementine. I know I mentioned like a note, a sticky note way of uh, trying to study before, but another way to do it is to just let all your electronics die. Let them things run out of battery so that there's no way that you could use it and hide the charges too so you can't charge that thing. Teachers do this all the damn time. They do this all the time, but the way to beat them at that is to learn more than what they're teaching you. So say if like you're on like, page 45 in a book or whatever, that's what she's teaching you, go to page 70 so you can be ahead of her. Um, I never got involved. Um, if it was something between somebody else and somebody else and they try to put me in it, I wasn't going in it. Like, you're just gonna have to take that L. I'm not part of your issue. Like, that's just how I handle things. You're not gonna put me in drama that I'm not associated with. I would say try to take a vacation, you know, try to clear your mind, spend time with people that you like the most and you love the most. And that might actually give you some insight on whether you should quit your job or not, or what you should, should pursue if your job isn't making you happy, you know? Just kind of like a spiritual thing. Okay, so you could do two things. One is let them duke it out 
and hopefully they don't fight. But if they do fight, then let them take that L on their own. Two, you can interject yourself in between them two and just try to sit them down and try to get them to an understanding. Trust and communication. Trust and communication, I feel like, is the most important thing. Because if you don't have trust, you're going to be thinking that they're out there doing something that they shouldn't be doing. 24-7, that's going to drive you crazy. And if you don't have proper communication, you might think something's going on when it's not. So go ahead and do it. Go for it, okay? Because now is the time. Now is like prime time for gaming. And I really feel like gaming could get way bigger in the future. But um, definitely play games that you're interested in. Don't try to force games that you know you don't really like. You're just playing it. Just um, I would say try to stream. Also, try to make a Twitch account because I know that from Twitch, you could get a lot of people watching you randomly. Um, it's way better than YouTube streaming, but if you want to do YouTube gaming, get an Elgato so you can record gameplays. I mean, you don't have to wear them. You don't. I mean, it's, it's preferred that you wear them so that people don't see, you know, when it's cold in the room. But, you know, um, you don't have to wear them at all. You can just wear a loose shirt and let them things breathe. It's a free country. I would say try to take speech. Um, speech is good, a debate class, um, drama class, because it'll kind of force you to act in a way that you don't normally act in front of a whole bunch of people. So it should make you probably comfortable to act as yourself in front of them too. In my opinion, I feel like if there's any success happening, it shouldn't negatively affect the relationship at all. Because I feel like if I'm winning, my partner's winning. So if Dwayne is winning, I'm winning. If I'm winning, then he's winning. So I don't think that it should cause a problem. I just feel like everything is like, you know, shared. So that's just how I see it. I don't know if that's for everybody else, but I don't think that it should really take a toll on your relationship if it's a good thing happening for the other person. First thing is to stop looking at the sub count. Just don't even look at it. Don't even act like it is six because every time you do, it's probably gonna bring you down because you're gonna look at some days you get a lot of subs and some days you get less subs. And you think that something's wrong with you when it's not. Two, just try putting out more content that you feel like makes your channel improve. You know, try to update your things, try to upgrade your channel, try to make your content better the way that you see it. Not try to fit into trends, but how you see it. It's very possible for you to go through waves of depression because a lot of people have, like, have that um, and they struggle with that because one day they'll be happy for a period of time and then all of a sudden they just feel sad and depressed out of nowhere, which is not uh, uncommon. I think it's gonna take time to make that go away, but the best thing that you can do is surround yourself with people that genuinely like you and love you and care for you and want you to do good. And also speak up about your depression. Speak into some, I mean, speak to somebody about your issues. I've enjoyed video games since I was like four years old, playing on the Dreamcast and playing on the Nintendo 64 and things like that, the old PlayStation and, and Dreamcast and all that, all that stuff. So I thought that I should, might as well make a channel based around best ways to not let your nerves get to you you know calm down breathe okay because them saying no is not going to be the worst thing in the world you can find somebody else but just know that it'll be okay and just say hey you know like you look very nice today and i was just wondering you're wondering if like you know we can go to the movies or something like that or get something to eat go actually go with something to eat Maybe go something eat. Like, let's go to Taco Bell. I want to find out more about you, you know, like that. But like, don't try to be too aggressive with it because then that might make them pull away. Um, I would say the best thing is to probably just walk away and try to isolate yourself from the issue and try to surround yourself with something that'll make that aggression go away. So for me, it's music. So I'll just walk away and listen to music to make myself feel better. Best way to stay consistent in the weight loss journey is one, that you're doing it for yourself. Because if you're doing it for somebody else, then it's going to just ruin your whole thing. Two, get rid of all the junk food in your house, okay? So that way you have no choice but to stay consistent in your diet. And three, get a trainer. I mean, I felt that way at one point too um, when I was in high school. Um, probably half of my life in high school, yes, I did feel that way. Because I don't know. I just didn't feel like I was supposed to bring my issues to someone else when they were self-made issues. I'm better at it now. Like I speak out about it now if I'm having an issue. But um, before how I dealt with it was, I just kind of looked back at myself because the issues that I had, nobody else created. It was all created inside of my mind. So I had to change my mindset and how I look. I had to sit back and really look at my life. Like if I don't change something, then nothing's ever going to get better because if nobody else knows what's wrong with me and I don't know what's wrong with me, the only thing I can do is try to make a better situation for myself. And that's it. Bananas, um, strawberries, grapes, 
I'm not too many grapes though because it's very sugary. I, I did that, but you know, it's okay. Um, eat those uh, all greens, anything green, anything green like vegetables like are always good for you. Rice is really good. Um, fish, fish is really good for protein. And, um, but really any, any fruits and vegetables that come out of the ground is good for protein because that's the actual source of protein. We just eat the animals that consume that and we're kind of getting protein from a third party. We actually went to Taco Bell. <laughs> I remember we went to Taco Bell. Um, it wasn't just us two though. It was like us two and like two other people with us, but um, it kind of counted as a date. But um, it, was, it was fun. We got to know each other. We found out that we both like games. But um, yeah, I would say try to just get to know the other person. That's the whole reason of the date is to get to know the other person, what they like to do and who they are, who their family is, all that good stuff. Not just sit there and stare in their face, you know? I think so. Just know that it is not your fault at all. I've never experienced it, but I know that it is never the child's fault. It is not your fault that they split up and it doesn't change the fact that they're your parents. It's just that you know, they decided to go a different path in life, which is fine. Get you a computer, get you an Elgato HD 60S. I'm saying all that because it has to be that specific because it actually helps if you're streaming and you game plays. Um, get a recording software. If you don't want to use Elgato um, that comes with it, you can use OBS. You can use your phone as the camera. You can use your lamp as a light like I'm doing back there. Um, I do that a lot. My, I only have one light that's attached to it, but a lot of people use two lights. I use my lamp as one just to save money and you can do that too and use like your books to prop up your camera ignore them because this world is just full of ignorance and you do not need to give into that you do not need to pay attention to that whatsoever and plus if they're saying anything like get out of my country or anything like that if they are not native american they need to shut the hell up a cooking uh segment on my channel yes makeup no i only use eyeliner i don't know how to use anything else as y'all can see from the punishment with Dwayne. I'm clueless with makeup, so <laughs> I feel you. I understand where you're coming from because when you play with like a certain squad online, like whether it be Xbox or wherever, when you're doing gaming, it kind of feels like you know them like in real life. Like that's how it is for me and Dwayne. We have a squad we play with and they're like our actual friends. Go ahead and let him know how you feel because he might not feel the same way as other people because you have to understand that the people that you encountered in the past, they're not the same person as this next person that you're about to talk to. So. Don't be afraid of that because if you keep that same energy with everyone, you're not going to be with anybody. Upload schedule, I say at least, at least three times a week, at least minimum three posts a week. It doesn't have to be all on the same day, just at least three. Um, equipment, use your phone as, in a as a camera if you don't have one. Um, use a lamp for lighting. If you have a friend or a sibling or anybody that could be your cameraman, hire them. Or if you don't want to pay them, you know, you can just kind of pay them in a shadow you know <laughs> but uh yeah use that um if you do have a camera try to go with canons or sony and try to map out like what you want to post because i have a thing um well Dwayne has a thing in his room where he writes down what his next post will be and to kind of plan what it will be so you can get an idea of what you want to post so try to make like a note board of that i don't know why this made me laugh but um uh i was fat so that's kind of how that happened. And then I lost the weight. So, I mean, you can eat some cornbread and some rice, but I don't, I don't know. I think protective styles are the key. Like what I'm doing right now, like this is a protective style where you don't manipulate your hair, you don't touch it, you don't do anything to it. You just probably put oil in your scalp and oil in your scalp is very uh, important too. Do that like every other day or every two days and you'll be fine. I would say try to let them know what your intentions are up front so that everybody can be on the same page because they might not think that you're as serious as you're trying to be, you know, or they may not know how seriously you feel about them and it might just be like a little fling that's not really that serious when it really is. And to make new memories and new experiences, I mean, you're not gonna have a different future or have better things happen to you if you keep dwelling on the past. The past is the past, the past already happened. There's nothing that you could do to go back in time to change this. The only thing that you do is move forward. Sing your local church, you know, like sing on Instagram and post it on Facebook and post it everywhere so that people know that you are a singer and you can do this, you know. Nobody's gonna know unless you show them. I'd say it mainly depends on the games that you like to play. Like if you like to play a lot of indie games and everything like that, switch to PC. But if you like to do a lot of like story games and uh, things like that, I would say go to console. It's really, it's really your preference. There are tons of girls in this world. There are girls everywhere. 
So when one rejects you, you can literally turn around to your right and see another girl right there. They're not the last ones in the world that exist. So that doesn't mean that you're never gonna find a partner. That's just how I see it. There's more options everywhere. Don't get stuck on one. You don't have to take my advice on this one. This is just this is just how I feel. But um, I feel like college isn't for somebody else to decide for you to go to. I just feel like that. Because for one, you're the one that's gonna get the debt, most likely, um, and you're the one going there. Two, college is not mandatory. You don't have to go to college in order to have a successful life because I went to college and I dropped out and I pursued what I wanted to do, just like you're trying to do, and it actually happened. So only thing to do is be confident in yourself and work towards your goal. And if so, you can actually do it at the same time as being in college if you wanna make everybody happy. You can pursue what you wanna do plus continue your college work at the same time. Like set some time aside for both things so you can get both things done and surprise your parents in saying that you've gotten successful at what you wanna do. People are people. I mean, I don't feel any type of way whether someone is gay, bi, trans, um, lesbian. I really don't care. It's honestly up to you. I love everybody that loves everybody, okay? You love who you want to love. You be who you want to be. It's your life. Thank y'all for listening.